Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. This is Anthony Maslow of The Boy Who Cried Flowers, and this is part two of our tablescape design video. We really wanted to do something romantic, exploding with flowers for you, you know, show you that you can do something more intimate and romantic for a tablescape, uh, and take these lessons learned from today and multiply them for larger tablescapes when, you know, things move outside of that. This is a great for treating your partner at home or a best friend for their birthday, a cute little two-person dinner situation, and Fallen, my fiance, is gonna get a little treat today. So even though we have a small table situation, I really wanted to bring in big explosions of flowers. I wanted it to feel, you know, like we're still maintaining events and large gatherings, but instead of large gatherings of people, there'll be large gatherings of flowers. So I'm gonna introduce some pink Himalayan salt to the tablescape. I really love the idea of having different textures, different layers, and you know, it's a very intimate one. So I want there to be a lot of conversation pieces going on. And you can go with fine, you can go with the rockier, uh, coarser textured salt. This is very fine salt. I just wanna create a beautiful little runner of it essentially. So I'm gonna add some fruits into this tablescape design. I really love the way flowers and fruits mix together. I think obviously both are so gorgeous. Ooh, ooh. So here we have it, the finished design. Something I'm very proud of and I'm starving looking at it to be honest. I really wanted to showcase again something romantic, something that has a lot of points of conversation. You know, I, I really love the idea of seeing so many elements going on. So I added pink Himalayan salt, I added some turmeric, I added pomegranates, we've got some berries in here, we've got some parrot tulips, some green tomatoes, some lime, kiwi, and all of those materials, uh, passion fruit, all of those materials have been placed to uh, go according with the color palette. So as you can see, I've got this explosion grass moving through and it's really the only greens being used throughout. And I wanted to continue the shape of that. So I dropped down some you know, green items like limes, kiwis, green tomato, highlighted with some uh, hyacinth just taken off and popped right into the salts. Uh, we've got some passion fruit in here. I felt that that was very uh, representative of the Vanda orchids that are speckled. Some really dark chocolate anthuriums that I balanced, you know, the table with some black beans added to the dish that kind of balances that out, etc. It's always very important to keep in mind kind of where things are being placed and how they work with the palette. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoy what we created for you. I want to especially thank my team for being here. If you don't know who Fallen is yet, he's not only my fiance, but he's the other half of The Boy Who Cried Flowers, and he is the glue that holds this business together. Um, thank you, Anna, Claire, Damaris. I appreciate you so much for being here and helping out. Thank you so much, Maya, for these stunning blooms. I had the most fun with them. I'm sure you can tell. I want to tease a little bit about the third video. We'll be opening up a BWCF pop-up store. We'll be uh, going into a little bit of those details via the last Mayesh Design Star video. So stay on the lookout for that. And thanks again for tuning in. Much love to you all. Cheers.